Greetings and welcome to today's vlog. Our news is still uh, very much uh, dominated by the Queen's death and uh, the new King, King Charles III. Um, lots of people are really uh, paying attention. A few uh, think it's over, think it's over the top, but she was no doubt a remarkable woman. Uh, woman and uh, lots and lots of people who actually met her have been paying tribute and uh, saying uh, about their experience and uh, one of the things that they all comment on or lots of people comment on is that when she met you she uh, looked at you directly and she gave the impression and it's probably the reality that she was really interested in what you had to say even if there were no words, uh, um, someone at uh, a Monday, Thursday uh, service where she handed over the Monday money every Monday, Thursday, um, someone said that um, because there was a lot of people uh, to which she will give this Monday money, uh, that the uh, instruction was that there was going to be no conversation between the Queen and the person that she was handing the money to um, because it just, there just wasn't time. But having said that, uh, it was also said that she would look directly into the eyes of the person and they would look directly into her eyes. And uh, following that experience, people said that although there were no words exchanged, there was something exchanged in the look that she gave them, a look of well whatever it was it was saying to that person i am interested in you this means something to me and of course it meant something so much uh, to the person concerned lots of people queuing hours um even uh, i just read uh, david beckham himself uh, queued for several hours to get to see uh, the queen lying in state many many people deeply moved by that experience uh, just wanted to pay tribute to the Queen, to her life and to her memory. My only, uh, I've never met the Queen, but uh, I've got a memory from probably when I was still in my teens. I used to live near Hull in East Yorkshire and the Queen uh, came to Hull on one occasion. I can't remember what the occasion was, but uh, I thought I'd go and stand uh, on the pavement where she's going to come past in her car and uh, as she goes past I'll get a photograph so there I was got there fairly early I was stood right at the end at the edge of the pavement I could see the road clearly I could see where she's going to come I had my camera ready and then uh, after quite a bit of waiting I can't remember how long uh, her car was coming along so I got my camera ready ready to take the shot that I could uh, keep and as a memento of that occasion and just as the uh, royal car drew up in front of where I was well it wasn't going to stop it was about to pass by all the crowd behind me surged forward so actually they got in front of me and so all I got as my camera shot was uh, the backs of people's heads it was uh, rather disappointing but anyway there we go that's my little story to tell but let's get back to what many people have uh, been saying about the Queen uh, in terms of um, the focus that she had on a person. Uh, yeah, she must have shaken hands with probably millions of people over the years, met lots and lots of people, not only in this country, but all around the world. So many places she visited. Um, and yet people say that when she shook hands with you, when she met you, she gave you her full attention. We all know what it's like to... Uh, be greeted by somebody but we can actually tell that they're not really interested in us and I'm, I was uh, reminded of something I heard only this week at a meeting I was at uh, somebody quoted a lady called Simone Vail if you want to know who if you don't know who she is look it up on uh, Google I'm sure Mr Google would tell you anyway uh, she said this attention is the purest form of generosity attention is the purest form of generosity in other words when you give someone the attention 
And when you spend time with them, that is the precious thing. You're showing that person you're important. And I was thinking of the gospel stories. Jesus so often is, is, is busy, is, is surrounded by crowds, uh, is in demand, but he stops for the individual. Whether it be uh, blind Bartimaeus begging by the wayside, the woman who had been uh, ill, who touched the edge of his garment, uh, Zacchaeus up a tree, the hated tax collector. He stops for the one. He gives them his attention. And the great thing is, God still gives us his attention because he loves us. So I'm going to make uh, an extra effort when I meet somebody to give them my full attention, to show that I really do care. So that's the thought for the day. God bless you. Thank you so much for listening as always.